So can you get rich? Can you build your own business empire? It's true. You can be rich. You can build your business into an empire. You can do it. Anyone of reasonable intelligence who lives in a Western democracy can do it, given sufficient motivation and application. And the first lesson is that you can only get rich if you believe, if you believe in yourself. You must, you must believe, believe in yourself. You must, you must believe, believe in Canada. You must, must believe, believe that, that you, you are, are the one, one to do it. it. For, if For if you, you will, will not believe in yourself, yourself then, then why, why should, should anyone, anyone believe, believe in you? you? Absolute belief in yourself is vital if you are to succeed. Absolute belief in yourself despite all your faults, many of which you will not know. All your weaknesses, despite what your parents and teachers told you, despite what your colleagues and friends tell you, despite what your lover tells you, despite your own failures up to now, despite everything that life has thrown at you, if you will only banish fear, fear of failure to the darkest recesses of your heart, then I promise you, you can do it, and no one can stop you from doing it. Only you can stop yourself from doing it. We all fear failure. I fear it still. I have always feared it. But such fear itself is not the problem. It is the paralysis that comes from such fear, which is the real problem. The paralysis that grows into a mountain you shrink from climbing. That fear is real. The fear of embarrassing yourself, of people laughing at you, of letting down yourself and your family and your colleagues and maybe even your employees. The fear of losing the money that you borrowed or begged or stole. fear of failing in the open, where there is nowhere to hide and no one else to blame. This is the fear you must confront, that you must entice, capture, chain and eventually padlock into a secret chamber of your soul. It will still call to you. It calls to me. You will hear its echo from time to time. Believe me. But by then, you will be so far up the mountain so close to the goal of getting rich that its cries will only serve to spur you on rather than paralyzing you with doubt and dread. in front of you. That does not mean you're creating a business, one of them ridiculous things that I receive about 40 a week of. You know, business plans telling me, you know, how we're all gonna become multi-billionaires. Never mind all that, you have gotta have a clear understanding of what it is you're gonna do and the steps you're gonna take to do it. And then, you have to, I don't know if you're going with a partner or just entirely on your own. 
Go to a place. Go to a place on your own. I don't care where it is. I don't care if it's in front of your chimney or you go out in the middle of the new forest. I don't care. Go to a place. Swear to yourself, I will not give in until they bankrupt me. While you never give in on your goal, you know, where you're trying to reach, what you're trying to do, I make more money than your neighbor. You might have to change the methodology. If something isn't working, yeah, then what sorts the man or woman that is going to be rich from the man or woman that is just going to have tried it once, failed to dream about it? Is your ability, as with all human activity, to adapt. So you're going to say, okay, you know, this isn't working. We gotta change our methodology. We gotta change direction. We gotta try something else that's going to make this damn thing work. And if you're willing to do that and keep trying, you know, listening to everybody that you know who's got any kind of sense, whatever, that you trust within, you know, this particular industry or whatever. And, and, and if you're willing to change until it starts working, then they cannot stop you for the very simple reason that in the end, you will get it right. And I had to do that many, many times. Many of the magazines I started were complete dogs, They're absolutely useless. And we all got together and, you know, and we talked about it and we started to listen to our readers and we realized that what we were doing was completely wrong. And it's amazing how often entrepreneurs get the right idea and the wrong methodology and just go about it completely wrong. So can you get rich? Can you build your own business empire? Is it a delusion to believe that so-called ordinary men and women can, within not so many years, do what I did? What did I do? I went from being a failed blues musician and an art student, living in a crummy bedsit without the price of a pint of beer in my pocket, let alone the money to pay my landlady the rents, into becoming one of the richest men in Britain, or so the Sunday Times richest tells us. I went from being a high school dropout without a penny of capital or the benefit of a university education to owning my own business, flying around in private jets, purchasing massive homes and estates with thousands of acres of land around the world, being chauffeured in a fleet of Rolls Royces and Maybachs and drinking the finest wine that money can buy from my own cellars. In the end, if you want too much money, then make a decision that you do want it and go out there and get it, brother. And, and nothing, nothing can, can stop, stop you, I swear that to you. Nothing, nothing in this earth can stop, stop you apart from the death. death. Nothing. Most of the people that got fantastically rich in the Western world in the last couple of hundred years were not very clever. They don't have to be clever.